Greetings, everyone in here, out there, and around the world. Welcome to the now semi-annual big show. I am your host, Jerk, and wow, what an audience. Maybe it's just because I haven't seen you so long, but a lot of people are telling me that this is the most attractive audience in all of the WoW's CC world. A lot of people are saying that. Yes, it has been a while, but you gotta understand, I am knee-deep in the world of high-end boozery right now, and while I can't exactly yet, I think, in the not-so-distant future, I should be able to show you what has been occupying so much of my attention on, I don't know, Instagram, or maybe I'll do it in the community tab here. But regardless of that, I have missed all your chubby cheeks. And speaking of chubby cheeks... That's going to bring us to today's guest. And I know many of you have been wanting this for a while. And I was very happy to get them into the studio for a little chat. So, signore, signore, put your hands together for the Tech Tree Tier 7 Italian battleship. Give it up for Vittorio Veneto. Mm, Vino. Vino Collapso, perhaps the only thing that comes close to as much fun as brawling in this battle boat. But if you're going to brawl, then you're going to bring your whole crew. And that means Paolo with the secondary party posse of Von Hippie and Haruna Matata. Yep, we are doing a full secondary build. Is this how I recommend playing it? Mm, maybe not 100% spec into secondaries, but here's the thing. The Sigma on this ship is 1.7. If you were going to go all in on accuracy, it's still going to be inaccurate AF. Whereas going pure brawler, you're going to be taking advantage of what this ship offers. What does it offer, jerk? Well, I'm glad you asked. Very high shell velocity AP, decent agility and speed, but for gimmicks, we've got two of them. We've got the rolling smoke. And the sap secondaries. Now, old Uncle Jerk ain't here to do your homework. But if you were to take one of those and then add the other one, would you say, you know where I should be? In a place on the map where I can't use either of those. Or would you sculpt your mashed potatoes into the form of Devil's Tower and say, this means something. This is important. So... That is what I have done. I have gotten myself centrally located into a brawling position, and while I wait for the red team to do what it is that I want them to do, which is to just get all close together on the other side of this island, I can just wiggle my butt like a cat getting ready to bounce. Annoyingly, there is a red destroyer over there to the west who is keeping me spotted, but... If I can just kind of angle myself and reposition, I'm really, really, I'm just waiting for my smoke to recharge. I guess it's kind of a blessing that I used it to get up to this island at the beginning, because had I not, I probably would have just gone in way too early after the string of games that I had this morning in which I was most certainly stuck on the blue team. And I was starting to think this might be another one of those matches too, considering how our destroyers are all fairly clumped up, not really going out there to spot anything, but I mean, I can I can kind of be sympathetic to them. I mean, it is a carrier match, and uh, you know, it is, I do have better AA than some of these guys, so clustering up around me, while I don't think that's probably the best thing that these destroyers could be doing, uh... I mean, I don't know. Whatever. It's, it's just a game. So, here we are. We've backed up. My smoke is ready to go. And I'm going to take a couple shots at this Iowa because they're pre presenting a fairly decent angle for me. Uh, you can see I was looking around there to see the health of my team, which uh, does not look absolutely great. But let's see the accuracy on these guns now that I'm actually going to get to shoot them all. And uh, it's pretty bad, right? Like I said, we do have a Sigma of 1.7, which is fairly atrocious. <laughs> but, you know, when they do hit, you do have the shell velocity to do some damage. And uh, not sure why this Iowa came back at me. I'm at a very steep angle there, but whatever. Anyway, 
We're trying to get one more reload in, and I'm thinking about firing at that Iowa. I was checking the distance on the Tashkent there, because I want to make sure that they're in range of my secondaries. But this Iowa's going to disappear, and uh, you know what? Oh, look. My destroyers have put out some smoke for me. So I'm going to use this, right? As soon as I drop spot, I can start moving forward here, and I want to use as much of their smoke as I can before I activate mine. And speaking of, there are more torps, and that's actually going to take out the Brandenburg to the right of me. Uh, you gotta know when to push, and if you're in a brawling battleship like that, Brandenburg, boy, just go. Anyway, I'm gonna get around here, and when I was doing this, <laughs> basically what we're trying to do is not shoot our guns until we have to because you have a smoke fire penalty of like 13 kilometers. So I'm definitely going to get spotted every time I shoot my guns, but I'm going to use my target acquisition system to spot the destroyers that are close to me and let my sap secondaries do all the work. And, uh, you know, fortunately... <laughs> Fortunately, I have been working as of late, so it's okay to get demonetized in this video because there is only one soundtrack going through my mind at this moment. And I bet you can all guess what it is. So, you know what? We won't even show ads on this video because I know I won't make any money on it. And uh, we will just go for the lulls instead and let the music play. Caccia torpediniere nemico colato a picco. Allarme incendio. Palla nello scafo, imbarchiamo acqua velocemente. Problema risolto, signore. Is everybody ready to see a triple strike? <laughs> uh, I was trying to get one double strike earlier when I shot at the Iowa, but you know, I missed that one. But because I was like, God, wouldn't it be great to get the Kraken and the two double strikes in one game? But this is going to be our triple strike right here. And it is also going to be Kraken 374 in the Vittorio Veneto. Wait a minute, 374? That's what the last video has said. I think Janice, down in accounting, made a clerical error again. So we're going to have to deduct her American cheese slice pay. Hello. There is the carrier. And this would be a very delicious six-pack if we can get this ship sunk in time. There is uh, not much time left in this game because we are at 974 points right now. So we're going to try and get our turrets turned and get the death strike off we just picked up the high caliber we've already got what three close quarters a high caliber a confederate a kraken a uh, first blood <laughs> this ship is so much fun but that's going to be the end of this match all righty let us see this mighty scoreboard uh am i reading this right all of that for 2,354 XP? That's barely even a good game. Jeebus Christo, is there just no XP in Epicenter or have the matches just gotten this horrible in my absence? Mamma mia. Well, that will wrap it up for this one. If you have gone all in on your sap secondaries, give this video a like. 
If you prefer to use an accuracy commander at the edge of the map, sitting in your rolling smoke, hit dislike. Questions, comments, confessions? Leave them down below. And for your chance to win the ability to see the increasingly rare videos posted by me, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, folks. I will get back out there for another one, and we will talk then.